Hey guys, Dave here from Knives, Gadgets, and More, and today we're going to review a knife. Alright guys, so as you can see, the knife we're reviewing is the Kershaw Cryo. And um, Kershaw makes a lot of affordable knives. They make good knives in my opinion, and I think this is a pretty cool knife. So today we're gonna go through the kind of major features of it and I'll tell you my thoughts on it. And that way you'll be able to judge whether or not it's something that will work for you. So first of all, um, there are two versions of the Cryo. There's the Cryo, which is the first one they made. And then there's the Cryo 2, which is a larger version. So as usual, here's my quarter to kind of give you something to reference the uh, size of the knife and we'll get into the measurements and stuff here in a minute too but there's kind of your first look to get an idea of the size of this knife now the first thing I do want to talk about is the blade steel the blade steel that you get on this knife is 8 CR 13 MOB and that's a Chinese steel it's a budget steel you see that in a lot of budget knives and it's okay for a budget knife but the thing about the Kershaw knives that have this particular type of steel is that they have Kershaw's heat treating and that heat treating is important when it comes to knife steels so even though it's not the most premium type of steel definitely not uh, it is heat treated really well and it does retain its edge pretty well because of that heat treating so overall I think the blade steel that you get is good and I think the uh, edge retention that you get is pretty good as well considering this is an affordable knife now the blade shape is kind of a drop point you can see it has a little belly there and kind of what's that a, a false edge I think it's a really nice looking blade shape kind of classic looking but it kind of unique at the same time so I like it I think it has performed well for me just doing everyday carry tasks like opening boxes and cutting string and stuff like that it's performed really well it also came pretty well sharpened out of the box so unless you want to there's really no need to sharpen it right off the bat which is convenient and overall I think the blade shape is pretty cool and it performs well at the same time so good job on that now next let's talk about the handle the handle here is um, stainless steel so it's got a little bit of heft to it I don't find that to be really a problem on this particular knife it lets you know that it's there it's not as light as some other knives that I have but that's okay it's just going in your pocket going in your jeans going in your shorts whatever it is and uh, the thing that really is nice is that it's thin. So that makes it convenient, that makes it easy to carry, and that's a feature that I like about it. I also like that it's a comfortable handle. When I'm holding it, there's no really hot spots, um, and it feels good. Even though I've got the clip right here, still feels comfortable in my hand. There is some jimping up here which helps you uh, kind of bear down if you really need to. Um, and there's some texturing or, I don't know if that's called jimping or not, but texturing down here as well to help you out if you need it. The sides are slick, but again, for a knife like this, you don't really need that much traction because this is a knife for light tasks and it can handle those tasks very, very easily. Now the locking mechanism, if you're unfamiliar with knives, then this type of locking mechanism is called a frame lock. You can see how part of the frame goes in and locks out the blade there. And then to close the blade, all you do is open it up like this. And for that, you can see the frame right there. This part here is kind of scalloped because it has to be flexible to allow you to move the blade and lock it out and then right here this disc uh, actually prevents you from pulling it too far so that's the purpose of that little black disc in the middle there um, it is an assisted knife so deployment is really nice really smooth and it just snaps out really nicely 
you can deploy it you can deploy it using the thumb studs if you want to or you could pull it out if you want to uh, but you got the flipper there and I like to use the flippers especially on an assisted knife like this it's really fun it's just kind of fun to play with and fidget around with so really like the um, the assisted opening and the smoothness of the deployment of the blade now next let's talk about the carry clip let's close it up so you can see the carry clip right there this is called a deep carry clip and that's what I prefer when I'm looking for it an everyday carry knife. It makes the knife sit lower in your pocket and I'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. And uh, it's not a deal breaker if there's not a deep carry clip, but it's something that I like to have uh, when I can get it. Now, this clip is also, uh, you can move it around. So the way it came to me, it set me up for tip down carry, uh, but you can easily swap it over or tip up carry if that's something you prefer I do tip up or tip down it doesn't matter to me that much I carry both I think both are fine both are good but you can swap it for tip up or tip down carry and you can also swap it to the other side for tip up or tip down carry so if you're left-handed you've got a lot of ways you can set up the clip four different positions and you can really customize the way you carry this knife uh, very very easily now let me show you what it looks like when you have it in your pocket look at that it just disappears so I think that's cool that uh, it makes it low profile less people know you're carrying around a knife which it's not really a big deal if they do um, maybe you want them to know that you're carrying around a little EDC knife but for me, I like it to be a deep carry clip. It just has less of the knife showing when you carry it around. And I like, uh, I like that feature about it. Now, the next thing we'll do is take a look at the size. So again, this is the Kershaw Cryo, not the Cryo 2. The Cryo 2 is a larger knife. This is the smaller version and I believe this is the one that came out first but the size that we got on this knife you can see right there looks like the blade is a little over two and a half inches overall length maybe about six and a half blade width see right there It's a good size. It's a good size to carry around for everyday carry. And again, the size, the compact size of it, it's not super compact. There are many smaller knives than this, but it's fairly compact. It's thin in the, uh, in the handle here. And that makes it really easy to carry around. So that's kind of another benefit of this particular knife. All right guys, so overall, I think this is a great affordable knife. Um, it's a great EDC blade. It doesn't cost that much money. Even though the steel is not the not a premium steel, it is heat treated well, and it holds its uh, edge pretty well. And I think it's definitely appropriate for the price point of this knife. I like the blade shape. The blade shape is really cool, and it functions really well. Cuts every type of thing you need to really well, opens boxes, all that stuff. The handle, as I said, slick on the sides, but still comfortable, still easy to grab, and narrow, so it sits really well in your pocket. The frame lock is sturdy. I didn't show you before, but it doesn't wiggle around or anything like that. It's pretty sturdy. And the deployment is excellent. It's an assisted knife and it snaps right out. Very easy to do. And you've got a couple options to deploy as well. You've got the flipper and you've got the thumb studs there. So overall, I really like this knife. 
I'm glad that I bought it. If you like the look of it, if you're looking for just an affordable EDC blade, um, I think you'll be very happy with this knife if you pick one up. Now, if you do want to pick one up, I do have a link in the description below. That is an affiliate link and it does help out the channel. Other than that, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.